All right, so this is the uh, Starlink Mini that I installed on the boat. And I've been getting internet um, 20 miles when I left Florida. I got internet 23 miles getting here to West End. Before I got to West End, I had internet. Um, right now here, I never had internet here. Very rarely, maybe at midnight, you will get a little bit of internet. Uh, I think 3G. With this, I get high speed internet right through this little uh, satellite. And my phone works just the same um, as having a tower. This is my tower now to uh, function my phone while I'm on the boat. And it's awesome because I don't have to rely on cell phone towers um, from the Bahamas, especially here in Abacos, uh, even the Barrier Island sometimes. Um, the cell phone towers doesn't work and if they do work the internet doesn't work so this is going to solve my problem it was easy to install let me show you how i installed it Alright guys, so this is the bracket that I chose. I already opened some rivet holes here, here, and also on the back here. And the wire is going to go through here. I'm going to use some rivets and some 4200. And I'm going to use some stainless steel uh, collapsing rivets, which they're really good. Um, let me show you what they do. See as the rivets go down. They have this indentation so it collapses and makes starts making these mushrooms look alike uh, as it comes down. So stainless steel is a lot stronger than your regular aluminum one. That's what I'll be using. I slanted this rivets a little bit so I'm able to grab it with the uh, with this tool right here I'm gonna start putting the 4200 and remember to wipe wipe everything off with alcohol Okay, now I can start tying up the rivets. <clears throat> then what I'm gonna do is, to prevent leaks through the rivets, I'm gonna cover the rivets with some 4200. So that way there's no leaks on the rivets from the top because you know as you know the rivet on top has an opening all right now I'm gonna connect it all right so it's installed so now I have two power source I can plug it here and plug it right here onto the power source or this unit will run up to 48 volts and my Minn Kota is a 36 volt system and I also put a fuse block here, 10 amp fuse block. All right, so that's protected. So now this connector right here will connect right here. But first, let's check out the voltage. 39 volts, perfect. 
that's perfect to take out of the system all right we're going to plug it up all right we're connecting right now searching online all right out on the reef is online right now all right so right now i'm watching a video watching my own video on youtube and i'm on airplane mode right here as you saw there it's very easy to install i installed it on my 36 volt Minn Kota bank um it does need more than 12 volts sometimes if you wire short you may get away with 12 volts uh, but i heard some people need to get 24 uh, 36 or 48 volts that's the maximum uh, in my case i have 36 volts and it's perfect it works excellent out of my minkota battery uh, which using the minkota battery for the satellite could last me uh, maybe a month because that's 300 amp batteries so there it is now everywhere i go now i got high speed internet except the middle of the ocean sometimes there's gaps that doesn't work i haven't tested it deep in the bahamas yet but i will uh soon so i'll keep you guys posted how this works and if you want to get a free month use my link in the description below this video and you'll get one month free and I will get one month free if you use my link. Uh, that's something that uh, Starlink is doing to keep promoting the uh, Starlinks. So you get one month free and I get one month free. So take advantage of that. If you're going to get one, use the link. What better way for you to get a month free? Um, in my case, I got it from the Blue Channel. Uh, he got one month free for him and I got one month free for me. He's the one that told me about it. Use the barcode and you have 30 days to try it. Right now, I'm trying it for 30 days and I'm loving it. All right, guys, I hope this video helps you. Um, if you need a satellite dish like this, it's awesome to have it, um, especially for me. It's incredible to be out here and have high speed internet. If you like camping, boating, uh, you go to a lot of places that um, doesn't have internet, this is it. As a matter of fact, when I was driving the trailer, I left the satellite on and I was able to get Wi-Fi inside my truck away from my van. As I was driving at 70 miles per hour on the highway, I was getting my satellite on my other vehicle. So it works about 50 feet uh, radius from the dish. All right, guys, I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. And from the beautiful Bahamas. Always navigate safe. Sandy K right there. I was fishing earlier, way over there. Got some fish. Let me show you. Oh, not bad. That's a group over there. A lot of snappers.